Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Excited to be here with you this Thursday. As a coach in real estate and business in general, 20 years experience as an entrepreneur of not having a guaranteed paycheck, not having a guaranteed insurance plan, not having pretty much a guaranteed anything other than the guarantee that if you put in the work, the right work at the right time in the right place around the right people, the right results will show up. And the challenge I see with anybody building a new business or coming into the business is the issue of process. You see, people do not understand the value in process. Many people, especially the younger generation, are looking for an event where they can go straight from high school and start earning $100,000 a year plus. Taint gonna happen, most of y'all, unless you're in the NFL, all right? So the pain of the process is what prepares you for the prosperity. Let me say that again. The pain of the process has a purpose in the Lord, and that is to prepare you for the prosperity, you see, because money will not change you. Money will amplify who you already are. Money's not gonna change you. It's not gonna turn you from a psycho to a cool person. It's not gonna turn you from a kind person to a jerk in most cases. Money will amplify who you already are, which is why Zig Ziglar had it clear when he said, be, do, have. You must become first. Who must you become so you can do the things you need to do in order to have the things that you desire to have? You see, so there is a purpose of pain in the process on the path to prosperity because an inheritance quickly gained in the beginning without suffering the pain of the process will vaporize right in front of your eyeballs. That's why people who win the lottery, as a general rule of thumb, over 90% are broke within a few years because if they did not have a budget, if they did not have a spending plan, if they weren't wise about investing, if they didn't know how to take calculated risks, then they just spent whatever they got and their latter state was worse than the former before they won the lottery. When you come into money quickly or success quickly or fame quickly, you pass around the pain of process whose purpose is to prepare you for the prosperity so that you can sustain that prosperity without blowing it all or screwing it all up all over again. You see, many times we see this played out in professional sports where we see young folks who are highly valued by the owners of the businesses or the teams and they bring these folks onto the scene who have incredible talent yet who do not have tested character. And talent can get you through the door, but only character will keep you in the room. Without the development of character, which, oh, by the way, comes from suffering the pain of the process on the path to building prosperity. If one is not prepared to experience the pain of the process, they will likely not achieve anything of a significant level of greatness because those who have achieved at a high level have experienced pain at a high level. Ideally, what happens in the pain of the process is that you develop a thick skin and a soft heart. We don't want thick skin and a hard heart. Thick skin and a soft heart. Thick skin in the sense that you don't really care what people think about you. You don't really care what people say about you. You don't really care people's opinions about you. Here, I'll give you an example. Today's one of them days for me. Pink pants days, ladies and gentlemen. Pink pants days. I don't know if y'all saw that, but uh, it is pissing some people up. They don't even know what to think when they see pink pants on Brother Collins. You get to the point where you do not care what people think about you, and yet you care what people think about you. Is that my daughter? That's my daughter acting crazy right there. Toria, for real? For real? That's my little girl. She works at the same place that I work. She's awesome. 
you get to the point where you don't care what people think about you and you care what people think about you. What do I say? Hey, Tori, what do I, what do I mean by that? You don't care what people think about you in terms of them influencing your path that you are on and what you believe you're called to do. You don't care what they think about it because everybody's got opinions and they're going to give you their own limiting beliefs around why things cannot be done. You're going to be a relator and you're not going to work on weekends. Oh my gosh, it's not going to be able to make it. Watch me, suckers. Did it. Do you understand what I'm saying? People have limiting beliefs around. What do you mean you can quadruple your business and work less hours? Tintaint, don't work like that. Well, maybe not in the school you was raised in, but there's plenty of ways to do it. Ask me how many people that own McDonald's you see working at the McDonald's. Huh. Think about that. So the thinking about what you are doing is no longer influenced significantly by people around you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you don't care what people think about you, but you care what people think about you. Meaning this, as you rise in influence and as you rise in leadership, you have a responsibility, boy, girl, to live right. Do it the right way. Do the right things because you can't pull a Dennis Rodman and say, I ain't a leader. I'm just here to play basketball. No, sucker, you a leader because people are looking at you. People are watching you. People's eyes on you. So you don't care what people think in terms of influencing your decisions to move forward on the path you're called to walk. And yet you care about what people think about you because you realize you can either be a blessing to someone or you finna be a lesson to somebody. Either they're going to learn from you and emulate and model and see and believe and have faith that they can do it too, or you're going to be a lesson to them of what not to do because you blew it and messed up and screwed it all up. You will influence people significantly. So there is a purpose of pain in the process on the path to prosperity. And the purpose of the pain is to mold you into the person you must become that can sustain that prosperity. Because your talent will open the door for you, but only your character will keep you in the room. So the pain of the process, when you're connected to the good Lord, is designed to rid you of pride, rid you of the shooting star, I'm gonna be an overnight flash in the pan, rid you of the foolishness that you're gonna make it super quick and stay there. It prepares you to be patient, to be purposeful, to learn how to plan, to follow procedures, to look at and observe processes, to walk in a power, passion, and a purpose on the path to prosperity. These are the things that occur with the pain that comes from process. So ladies and gentlemen, when you wanna shortcut the process, just realize you're shortcutting who you are supposed to become in that process so that you can do the things you believe you can do and have the things you believe you can have. Do not shortcut the pain of process, ladies and gentlemen. There's a purpose on that path to prosperity in the process. Have a great day, guys.